just a little snapshot of this problem. What's the problem you're talking about? I'm not married. I don't have kids. Okay. And I'm in my 30s, and it really weighs on me. Okay. It really drives me. <laughs> not married, not kid, in your 30s. Okay. Not kid. No kids. Okay. So when this problem is ha when you're really focused on this problem, what shows up inside of you? Um, I have a lot of thoughts about what's wrong with me. Um, okay. In some cases, I do feel envy, you know, okay. of my friends who call me and tell me they've had kids or they're pregnant. Right. Um, just hope, helplessness, hopelessness. I never get married. Like, man, I'm going to be that. Mm. Um, like that article I read about educated, successful black woman that never got married. <laughs> just always single, you know. Uh -huh. And so, um, yeah, just feeling like, man, if it had it hasn't happened so what in the world mm. okay okay um so let me reflect those two to make sure i've got them right we've got okay. a thought what's wrong with me um the last thing you said was um wondering if you're ever going to have somebody and the thing in the middle the second thing you said was hopelessness hopelessness Okay, so you got that hopelessness, you've got that questioning yourself, you got that doubt and that judgment. Okay. Um, all right. So let's work a little bit on letting go of the struggle with these things. Um, so I want you to imagine that I am a monster that embodies hopelessness, doubt, questioning, all that stuff that you just described. So I wonder if you might face me. Okay. And imagine that you could take all that stuff from inside that shows up around not having kids and not having a partner and like pour it into me. Like here I am, I'm all of that stuff. Okay. Can you imagine that? So it's not that I am not having kids. I am all the stuff that shows up inside of you around not having kids and not having a partner. Can you make that real in your mind? Okay. Now, Life is kind of like this. We're often faced with these monsters, and we're tempted to get into a war with them. In fact, life is just like that war. So it's like, here I am, the monster of your, can we give it a name, like, no partner, no kids? Can we call it that? Or what do you want to call it? Old single woman. Old single woman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Old lady with cats, I don't know. Okay. I <laughs> I am old lady with cats. Okay. I'm actually almost middle-aged man with two cats. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's okay. no. no, no, I'm just kidding. No, let's be serious though. I'm old lady with cats. I am that thing that your mind goes to that you don't want to be, that, that worry, that doubt. Okay. And it's like I'm this monster, and between us is this chasm that goes down for miles and miles and miles to the pits of hell, and that we're in a tug of war. And the consequence is... If you lose, yeah. see where you go? So the stakes are really high. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so it's kind of like that, right? You pull, you wrap it around your arms, and you kind of pull. Okay. And what happens when you pull? You're pulling back. I'm pulling back. Do I pull back even stronger as you pull stronger? Yeah. Yeah. Probably more. <laughs> okay. So just notice your body as you do that, what that's like. So, how do you win this war? Let go. All right, see if you can win it by letting go. My hands feel better. Okay, what else do you notice? Um, no more struggling. No more struggling. What about me, where am I? You're still there. I'm still but... here. Right. Okay. So, is the war over? Do I need to let go? <laughs> I don't know. Can you win the war by letting go? Let's see. Okay. Do I have to keep taking it? I don't know. <laughs> That's what it is, ain't it? Just let you be. Just let me be. Okay. 
and stay here, if you will. So what's it like to just be in the presence of me? Definitely not as hard as struggling with you. Okay. Now, I'm going I'm to ask you for the purposes of learning to hold on to this again. Okay. I know you, know you don't have to pick it up now, right? So when you're doing this thing, if the opportunity to build relationships showed up, mm. would it be, what, how easy would it be pulling on this rope to engage in relationships? Very hard. Very hard. And if you let go, harder or easier to engage in relationships? Easier. And yet, where's the old lady with the cats? Still there. Still here. Still here. So let's try something. And we'll walk towards the camera. Okay. So imagine that that direction towards the camera is a life with relationships or the possibility, because we don't know the future, right? The possibility, all the behaviors that you would need from you to engage in relationships your part in it. And we are going to go that. You want to go that direction? Does that seem important to you? Yeah. Okay, will you walk slowly in that direction? Okay. I don't want to take the rope. <laughs> I'm not going to take the rope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and yet where am I? You're not taking the rope, but where am I? You're right with me. I'm right with you. So what's that like? I mean, I'm fine. I'm okay. You're okay. And what if I came really close? I'm still fine. I'm okay. <laughs> um, what if I came really close? <laughs> I'm still fine. I'm okay. All right. You're still fine. You're okay. Now, I don't know how you feel about like touch, but like, could yeah. you could you welcome me in some way? Handshake. All right. All right, here I am. I'm a part of you. I'm going to be here when you go on that date. <laughs> I'll be right next to you. But notice how you're responding to me. Okay. So let me ask you a question while you're still up here. So you've got kind of a felt sense of this, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what would it look like if the option to date somebody or the thing that you might get struggly about showed up in your actions, what might it look like if you were letting go of the rope? What might you do differently? Be more open to people. Okay. Dropping the rope is being more open. Mm -hmm. Like, what does that look like, specifically? Um, definitely not judging people that I go on a date with as potentials. <laughs> <laughs> Just letting it be a date? Just letting it be a date. Right. So there's something about all that judging and assessing that is holding onto the rope really tightly, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's a great, great, great example. Great example. Any other examples of things you can think of you'd do differently if you were letting go of the rope? Um, just be more carefree, I guess, because I've tried to put a limit on, okay, I got to go to school, I got to do this. I've tried to put a time limit on everything. Mm -hmm. And so when something didn't fit my time limit, it got kicked out. And then I found myself restricting how I lived mm -hmm. based upon my perceived goals. Okay. And so just being more carefree, I guess. Being more carefree. Okay. You might not feel carefree, but it would be being carefree in your actions. Mm -hmm. Right. And just to put a, like a teaching point on it, my guess is, is that all that evaluating that you do of a potential partner on that first date is a way to minimize anxiety because there's a lot of uncertainty here. If you can solve the problem in your head, it's not so scary. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Is it something different from that, or is that kind of it? Yeah. I mean, if I could figure out, <laughs> that would be great. You know, yeah. I don't like the unknown too much. <laughs> right. You're going to minimize the unknown mentally. Um, but does it actually minimize the unknown? No. No. That's the pulling on the rope. Thank you so much. No problem. All right.